It's probably realistic to think of a lot of businesses in that two-ish year uh, phase in order to start really making money. I know that I've had businesses, not as many as you, and but a lot have failed and a lot, and some have done okay, uh-huh. um, and a couple have done great. Uh-huh. And as I start businesses, as I launch businesses, my expectation most of the time, Gary, is I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. Uh-huh. Like I'm going to launch this today. And my life's going to be easy tomorrow. And I'm hearing you say that this is a two-year beta for, with one studio, and then you, we are going to see where it goes after two years, and then decide on the other 49 studios after. Um, if we have a listener who's thinking, I'm going to start a business, and tomorrow I'm going to be a multimillionaire, uh, my life will be set. Uh-huh. What should we be thinking when we're launching a brand new business? Those three things, time, money, and people. So I have plenty of business ideas that I'd start tomorrow, but I don't have the people to run them. And I don't want to be a resource to my own company. You ask about like how I have time to do all this. It's because I'm not a resource. I don't sit in my companies. I now have a seat in my companies. I am the CEO of the ecosystem, our holdings company. I have business unit leaders, COOs, CMOs, all those people that run the business. I have the freedom to set in any seat that I want to sit in. I actually only choose, of all my business, the only actual one that I still sit in that seat wise is as a consultant. I actually do it because I enjoy it. I enjoy consulting businesses still. I have 13 other business consultants. I don't have to. To be truthfully honest with you, I was, I had a client this week that wanted me and I'm like, no, I don't really want to go out of town this week. Right. So just decided not to. And they took another coach, which was fine. And they were happy with that. They wanted us. I just didn't want to go out of town this week. I wanted to rest and relax and have a good week. I've taken three weeks off now. I've been having coached or traveled in three weeks just because that's what I chose to do. So with that being said, like you got a predetermined time. Now I gave you a marker of two years. That's to prove the concept. If I prove the concept in six months, I launched a second studio. If I prove the concept in nine months, I launched a second studio. It's just the time in which I'm dedicating and putting the money aside to be successful in four two years. Why? Because I've done a study to find what would be a typical time frame of a successful product like this. Yeah. Because technology changes too fast to be like five years from now, I should be making money. No, five years from now, the whole concepts change by then. So I've got to get there a little quicker. There are some businesses I start that I launch in 90 days and they're successful and I they ramp at that point. They go to they go to the next. You know, people are always scared of like failure in business. And the truth is, is that you hear the statement a lot, you know, you grew too fast, right? And that's not a true statement. Weirdly, what happens is we grow wrong. And that's where our business framework comes in, our coaching comes in, because we help businesses rise to their 100% the right way. We start with resources, time, money, people. Then we go into inspiration. Then we go into systems. And then we go into engagement. And this podcast and things like that are engagement, right? That is where we're trying to engage with the outside world in marketing, sales, advertising, things like that. That's a whole piece of our curriculum on engagement. And so we want to make sure we've done the resource, inspiration, and systems properly before we expand into engagement. And I get there. We call it earning the right. We ETR it to engagement. We earn the right to engage. I had somebody text me this morning, Adam, and they were like, hey, I want to be a business coach for you. I'm like, okay, could you give me your resume or text me and let me know why you think you're qualified to be a business coach? He's like, well, because I want to. Okay. And I want to be president of the United States someday. doesn't mean I'm qualified yet, right? Like, I think you got to be qualified. You have to earn the right to be a to be a subject matter expert, right? In something. And so like, that's what we're trying to protect. We're trying to protect people from having that false sense of accomplishment and security because they jump on social media and they push a message and they have no back into it, no support, no no actual experience with it. So that's that's our goal. I mean, our goal is to help entrepreneurs rise properly. And uh, in, if you're out there today and you're thinking about starting a podcast, you know, start with why, what's your purpose? What are you trying to accomplish? And if you're trying to build a business from it, 
then you got you better dial in your resources, your time, money, your people. Then you also better make sure you have the right vision, long-term, short-term vision that inspires those resources. And then you better make sure you have the right systems. In the book, you know, who, not how. It's a great example of why we built Rise the way we built it. It's who, that you know, then how. You know, systems show up after inspiration. And then if you do those three things right, you have the right to expand through engagement. <laughs>